हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स लर्न एंड ग्रो टुगेदर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द लेक्चर ऑन सॉलिड स्टेट व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन ट्वेल्थ न्यू सिलेबस 2020 एंड दिस चैप्टर इज फॉर फोर टू फाइव मार्क्स इन द बोर्ड सिलेबस एंड वी विल सी द डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर आस्क प्रीवियसली ऑन दिस टॉपिक Also, we will see all the points which are useful for the NEET, JEE, and MST CET examination. That is complete examination also, and hence the students which are promoted from 11 to 12th class without the examination. I want to congratulate all of these students and suggest them to start. the 12th science syllabus because balbarti have uploaded all the books on its official website and if you want the notes of all the chapters we will cover all the chapters and you can take the screenshot of each video lecture i will write on the board the important points for the examination purpose and also the questions which were asked previously i will mention all these friends so today we will start solid state chapter which is for 5 to 4 marks as concerned to the board examination and before that solid state uh, solid state chapter we have already studied in the 11th standard states of matter and there are three states of matter Before that, what is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and have mass. And there are three states of matter. These are gaseous state, liquid state, and solid state. In case of gaseous state, atoms, ions, or molecules, these are the constituent particles of matter. These are atoms, ions, or molecules. these are far away from each other and there is a very weak force of attraction between these atoms and so molecules they have random motion they have free to move from one place to another place hence they do not have specific volume that means definite volume and also definite shape they do not have definite volume definite shape when gases are cooled under pressure they convert into liquid and uh, liquids in case of liquid molecules come close to each other and there is attractive forces stronger than the gaseous molecules they have definite volume but there is a space between the molecules hence liquids are very less compressible gases are very high compressible and when liquid are again cooled under pressure they converts into solid this is the effect of temperature and pressure on the state of matter in case of solid atoms ions or molecules are compactly arranged there is no space between these constituent particles and hence the solids are in incompressible solids cannot be compressible because the force of attraction between the constituent particles that means atoms ions and molecule is very strong and we are now concerned only with the solid because we already studied the gaseous state and liquid state in the 11th standard and now only solid state is included in our 12th science syllabus in the solid there are two types of solids these are crystalline solids and amorphous solids there is a question which is asked on the this uh, point distinguish crystalline solid and amorphous solid three times the question is asked march 2013 march 2014 and 17 for me the three times this question is asked that write the uh, distinguish between crystalline solid and amorphous amorphous solids the first point is in case of crystalline solid these atoms ions or molecules are arranged in a regular manner 
that means there is a regularity in the arrangement of atoms ions or molecules these are known as constituent particles and they have long range order arrangement of these atoms ions and molecules that means there is a periodicity in the arrangement of atoms ions or the molecules which are known as constituent particles amorphous solids are the the solids in which the constituent particles are randomly arranged that means there is short range order among these constituent particles this is the main difference that means crystalline solids have regular arrangement of constituent atoms crystalline substances have sharp melting point that means they melt at a definite temperature and amorphous solids do not have sharp melting point they melt over a range of temperature they first uh, um, undergo form into the um, liquid form at a when it is heated crystalline solids are anisotropic except a cubic and amorphous solids are isotropic the meaning of anisotropic and isotropic we'll see for that anisotropy means the physical properties like like refractive index thermal and electrical conductivity of a substance change with change in direction very important point is the these physical properties changes with change in the direction of measurement if the direction of measurement is changed the certain physical properties undergo change if we consider this is a ab line and along this ab line we will see the same type of molecules are present and hence the physical property will be different if we move along the this direction say cd there are also only these type of atoms or ions are present if we move along this side and we will observe the different atoms or molecules are present in that case if the physical property is measured along this a b c d or e f we will observe different in this physical property that means refractive index thermal and electrical conductivity will be different along these different directions hence this property is known as anisotropy when the physical property changes with the change in direction and such a type of property is shown by crystalline solids and hence crystalline solids are considered as anisotropic except the cubic structure in case of amorphous solids these are known as isotropic that means when these physical properties are measured from any direction these remains constant that means they are same then another point is the definite heat of fusion crystalline substances have definite heat of fusion amorphous solids do not have definite heat of fusion we will see the heat of fusion in thermodynamics chapter also we have already studied the heat of fusion and examples of these are metals like copper gold silver platinum salts like sodium chloride cesium chloride diamond graphite ceramics these are the examples of crystalline solid again crystalline solids are considered as a true solids while amorphous solids are considered as supercooled liquids that means the molecules of amorphous solids that means atoms ions or molecules have small difference between their constituent particles and they are the intermediate between liquids and solids hence amorphous solids are also considered as supercooled liquid hence they are not considered as true solids while crystalline solids are considered as true solids the examples of amorphous solids are glass plastic rubber and tar you have to remember only four points of the distinguish between crystalline solids and amorphous solid and only the differences between these are of the arrangement of atoms ions and molecules and due to which the physical properties changes then we will move to the another concept isomorphism and polymorphism 
in case of solids isomorphism means crystalline substances these are the types of crystalline substances isomorphism it is a type in which two or more substances having the same structure iso means a same and morphism means a structure isomorphism that means two or more substances if have same structure then these are known as isomorphous and the phenomenon it is known as isomorphism for the example nas and mgo they have same molecular ratio M nf 1s21 1s21 and hence they are isomorphous that means they have same their structure crystal structure is same then cso3 nano3 1s2 1s23 1s21 s23 that means their atomic ratio is the same in case of cso3 and nano3 and as a result of this they have same structure crystal structure of these are same and hence they are known as isomorphous and the phenomenon is known as isomorphism and another concept is then polymorphism that is single substance that exist in two or more forms or crystalline forms two or more structures crystalline structures can be represented for a single substance and these are quartz alpha quartz beta quartz 